Alright, so, in the last episode, I got interrupted by Jose to play Silent Hill 2. So this episode, we're actually going to continue. I don't mind though, Silent Hill 2 was pretty fun. So, yeah, let's continue, let's continue with Brothership. But I do need to go back into the, uh, the dungeon, because I fought like one enemy, and that was it. <laughs> I didn't really do all that much. So let's fix that. But hey, I mean, it's got sub-levels. That's already a pretty neat start, isn't it? Is that how all the lighthouses are gonna be, I wonder? Oh, I'm going to beat the shit out of you! Oh, I got, I got defense and pow now. Yeah, take that. Yeah, Mario is super strong now. I feel like that gear in particular is kind of OP. <laughs> but I guess, you know, you should be OP if you go for, you know, you go out of your way for good gear and stuff. So it's understandable. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna continue with our ride to um 30 excellent shell attacks. I don't know if we're gonna get, you know, multiple bros attacks at once. We'll see though. So you anyway, let's check out let's check out how we're doing. Anyways, thankfully we're done all of our, um, we've done all the side quests up until this point. Uh, two to go and five to go. Oh. I guess we're gonna get, um, we're gonna get these done pretty soon then, huh? So these are all battle related, right? Which means you'll always get these in battle. Okay, makes sense. Still only rumble, which you know I don't even know what the rumble is like. Oh, you can also see your bros attacks. That's pretty cool. So if we get to level fifteen, then we can check what um we can get the next rank up. Which um I don't. Know, we're probably just gonna get another gear slot. Well, actually. Here's the thing. It doesn't look like socks are in this game. I haven't found socks yet at all. Did they just straight up move, remove, so like, socks? And... What was the other one? Oh, Connie's here. We made it inside. Don't, don't, don't worry about me. I'm small, but I'm still a wildness. Hey, if you're still trying to act tough, Corn Connie, you're blowing it. You know as good as we do how dangerous it is, yeah? Yeah, I know, but I'm glad I came. See those spite bulbs? Is that what, is that what they're called? <laughs> That's what happens when to sprite when sprite bulbs when uh it's cut off from the connector. They turn into spite bulbs. They run on the stale energy they managed to hang on to. I'm not surprised we're seeing spite bulbs here. It's probably because the great lighthouse has gone dark. I'll be careful not to get in your way. Whatever is happening to the Great Lighthouse, I have to see it for myself. Plus, I want to see it shine again. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Well, we got a lot of Thorbs. Hashtag not Thorbs. I'll just get in the way if I go with you. So I'll wait here. You two be careful, okay? So now we're on. A, is this sub level two now? I don't know, I don't think it says. Ooh, what's this? 
Can we use um the tornado here? No. Okay. Pretty open area we got here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, I love just having Luigi speed things up ever so slightly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at all this stuff I can break. Alright, we got more Thorbs. I mean, these are literally just Thorbs. They're not. <laughs> Like, I, come on. Oh my god, the Dream Cap enemy from Dream Team is here too. Cap Nap. Holy shit. They're bringing back all the Dream Team enemies. Whoops. Wrong button. I, I see, I knew I would fucking do that at some point. Okay, let's try that again. It's a hit. I love, I love, I love the Dream Team enemies. They're so charming. You know, to be honest, we should probably let the enemies attack instead of just uh, spamming Bros attacks over and over. Yeah, I should do that. Well, aren't I running low on items? Ooh, cool. Okay, and, uh, let's let the Thorb attack as well. Oh my god, it does- wait, wait, they still do- they still drink it like that. Whoops. They still- they still, like, rotate the drink and drink out of it, but it's only when you feed it to a different bro. Okay, that- that's kind of funny. I like that. Spike me. <laughs> Here, let's get Mario's bros attack thing here. Yes! Get the fuck! Alright, give me, give me that achievement. Bros bean and super mushroom. Oh shit. <laughs> I got juked again, bro. Alright, well since um he has like like a few HP left, Mario. just have Luigi smash his face. Oh yeah! Uh, so cool seeing Dream Team enemies in here. I wonder if there are gonna be other enemies referenced. I, I saw like Trevals from Bowser's Zentai story in like another uh, screenshot somewhere. But I don't know when they're gonna show up. I think honestly, Mario and Luigi really does benefit from having a mix like of all types of enemies. You know, bring back, you know, Mario, bring back enemies from like old Mario and Luigi's, introduce a bunch of new enemies, and then you know throw in the occasional like recognizable enemy. You know, like throw in a Goomba here and there, or throw in a throw in a shy guy. You know, every now and then. Yeah, I think that's the best, like, roster of Mario and Luigi enemies. So you have that, you know. I mean, I think, uh... What game does that the best, I wonder? I don't know. I mean, I think Superstar Saga already does a pretty good job of that. Dream Team kind of does that good. Well, because Dream Team has a lot of old-ass enemies, but also a lot of new ones, too. Like, I, I think it's kind of epic how, like, in, you know, the Bowser- in Neil Bowser Castle, you know? You know, you have your, you know, standard enemies, you know, you have, like, Fire Bros, and, uh, like, Fire Bros, you have the frickin' Shy Guy tank, or Shy Guy-like airship. But then you have, you know, you have your weird Mario and Luigi enemies, like the Antasmatons and stuff like that. You know, th that's cool. I mean, Super Star Slogger kind of did that too, where, you know, you have like Boos and Hammer Bros, but then you have weirder enemies like, um, you know, like Chomp Bro or, um, Sniper Bill, you know? Those are cool takes on old enemies as well, I'd say. 
And that's what I like that they're doing here. Because they're bringing back a bunch of old enemies. And well, these are technically brand- these are technically new variants. Also, I just find it weird because cap naps. Wait, are cap naps only found in um the dream world? Oh shit, and I need to double check this. Cap nap. Oh wait, no, the cap cap naps are literally just dead ass the same enemy. That cap that we saw is literally just the same enemy. Oh, that's fucking cool, dude. Yeah. And yeah, the, the, there's, um... Well, they're called the Spikelys. Yeah, Spikelys are pretty much just Thorbs. I mean, I think Thorb is a cooler name, personally. But what are we take those? Hey, it's Linguini is level 12 now. <laughs> Let's -a go. Wow, yeah, it is it is kind of weird seeing cap naps though. Love it, loving the dream team, uh, loving the dream team representation here. That is, that is really cool. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, Luigi goes first now. Fuck, I'm out of BP, dang it. <laughs> so that, that's kind of cool, they have a unique drinking animation. Here, let's give Luigi a mushroom, see what that looks like. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I see. These guys like to fall asleep midway through the attack. The attacks are very snappy, too. I like that. They seem to run back to their spawn point, like, almost instantaneously. Yeah! Falcon kick! Bro, bro, still alive. <laughs> I just wanted to do that to be funny. I can't wait until, like, Luigi's, like, one freaking level ahead of Mario. This gonna be so freaking funny. I got more cap naps. Alright, now I can instantly kill them in one turn. Because now I have enough BP. Falcon kick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Mario's so close to level up, bro. Yeah. I don't know what these wind, these these like little turbines are all about, but probably something later. Oh wait, wait, what's this? Oh. Oh, cool. So that's like the on switch. What the hell is the rest of this room for, then? Zock Troops Memo Number 2. Remember to turn the Tornado's fans off. Whoever wastes electricity forfeits lunch. Um, how would I just ignore that and go over here? Alright, time to smack my bitch up. Wait, hang on. Luigi and Mario seem to be speed tying now. 
I wonder if that's true. They actually have the same amount of speed. The frickin' snoring. Alright, time to die, bitch. How are you? Yeah, let's give Linguini some more syrup. He only gets to use like two bros attacks where he has to drink another syrup. Yay, item buffet! Ooh, defense beans. Those are nice to see. Oh, fuck. Oh, I actually took a decent amount of damage there. Doom Dodger! Heart Bean, Bros Bean, and Super Candy. Man, I just got a shit ton of achievements done in like one battle. I mean, at least I don't have to worry about Paper Mario getting too far ahead. Alright, heart beans. Um we'll give those to Mario. Rose beans, definitely give those to Luigi. And a fence bean we give to Mario. Now Luigi can actually spam more bros attacks. <laughs> That's good. So, okay, not side quest, but how many what challenges do we have left now? Hmm. One left there. Okay, so I do kind of like that instead of having to do five in a row, instead they raised it and said it's do thirty, like just in general. And that's kind of cool because it means you just you won't be able to beat the achievement super early. You actually have to use it a lot. Uh, still working on these, obviously. So that Doom Dodger. Hmm. See, instinctively, I want to look up what the last dish gloves that do, but I can't because the game, the game is like not even a few days old, bro. Like it's so recent that I can't even do that. And apparently, there's just you know a shit ton of damage dealing achievements, even though I've barely done a thousand. I wonder how you're gonna be able to do that. I've only defeated 300 enemies, apparently. Uh. And I've only gotten, like, 2,000 coins. So yeah, th these achievements definitely, like, are more grand scale, if that makes sense. And these are all bros attacks, I'm pretty sure. Because I, I think having five per bro makes makes the most sense. If, if, if Since we're going off of how it is in, um... Yeah. Since we're going off of how it is in Dream Tea and Paper Jam, each of the bros get their own set of bros attacks. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I don't think that's how it works. I, I think in Bowser's Insight Story, the bros just get like, they get the same amount of bros attacks. Alright, so we can just kind of use whatever we want now. We could just hammer, do whatever. Now we're at the point where we can just kind of do whatever moves and it'll work out just fine. Yeah. <laughs> I do enough damage with first strikes that I, um, kill those guys at one time. Ooh, refreshing herb. I haven't seen any statuses yet, though, so... I don't know when refreshing herbs are gonna come into play.
Man, I've got all kinds of luckies now. Boom. Oh, yeah! Hey, there we go. We got another achievement for that. Man. You know, actually, out of curiosity, how many achievements have we beaten now? Because we've done quite a few. We've done five, six, seven, eight. Well, how many are there? There's, you know, I think I'm trying to count. 24. I find that the fact that there's 29 is a really weird number. Only 29 achievements. But like, again, like I said, since they're so grandiose and they take a long time to beat, I guess I don't mind too much. And I still need to do this one at some point. <laughs> Especially considering the fact that I've only beaten 300 enemies myself. Like, I might have to grind that one out. Which, uh, who the fuck knows when that's gonna be. Alright, it's time to Falcon Punch again. Even though we're not the Falcon Punch at all. Didn't I already get the achievement for um, beating battles without taking damage? Under times. Nerd! I got a nut, guys. And now my uh, now my chest kind of hurts. Oops. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Wait, I, can't, I don't even think I can get up there right now. Wait, no, maybe I can. Oh. Oh. There we go. I guess to be fair, these places do take a little bit longer because I'm not I'm fighting literally like every single enemy. Also that hammer hitbox is really generous. <laughs> Ooh, we got three of them now. Yeah, let's see. Here, what I can do is give Luigi a syrup. And then he can spam green shell AoEs. And that's fun. Hell yeah. Especially since all these guys are on the ground, too. Yeah, look at that. This is probably the most OP the green shell has ever been. Well, maybe since, uh... The Partners in Time one, maybe? The Partners in Time one, in theory, is probably the most OP as well. I guess I can give Mario some BP as well. Yes, I'm chugging that syrup. Bro, just just the fact that Mario fucking chugs a bottle of syrup is amazing. Like that takes balls. He doesn't. He doesn't fucking. He doesn't uh like just take a little score. He, he fucking chugs that thing. <laughs> oh shit, they're not dead. Gotti. Gotti again. Another Gotti. Alright, let's hammer it. Let's do the funny version of the hammer. There we go. Oh, yeah! Oh, yes! Now we're gonna get another level up soon. Ooh, steady hammer. Finally, an actually good hammer. Doesn't have any special effects. So we'll give it to Linguini. Luigi's the hammer guy, after all. Oh, 
All right, here we go. Okay, let's go. You don't get like a cool boost of speed from this though. It's just kind of like, you keep going. Get over there. Ooh, that was a close one. Wait, hang on, hang on a sec. What's over there? Oh, there's like a... There's a block over here. Nut! I'll take it. I'll take the nut. Oh, I might have to wait another cycle. I don't even know how to think about what happens if I stop spinning. This is honestly a really cool take on the, um... The usual, like... What do you call it? I guess the spin jump? The tornado jump? I, I, what, do I, what is it called in most of these games? I think... I know spin jump is like the typical name. Spin jump Mario and Luigi series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... It's in, like... Pretty much all of the Mario and Luigi games, except Paper Jam. Yeah. It's actually kind of weird, wild to think about, that the spin jumps in basically every Mario and Luigi... It's in the first four games. And then this, we have the Bros... The Bros UFO, which I don't think has been coined on the wiki quite yet. Um... It just says Brothership if has a variant where they turn into a flying saucer. Which, uh, yeah. Also, apparently this game was made in, uh, Unreal Engine. <laughs> Which is, um... I mean, that's cool, though. I mean, Unreal Engine's basically used for most things these days. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I'm looking at some more information for the game. And, um... So, I, I might- some people might already know this by now, but... The composer for this game, Hideki Sakamoto, is, uh, the composer... One of the general composers for, um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Which, um, yeah, it explains the general style of the music. <laughs> Yay! Mario and Luigi, I knew you could do it. Nice, so we gotta, like, build a staircase so Connie can get up and fix the lighthouse. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. And I mean, I don't mind the the theme of Smash Ultimate. It's it's, it's all right. I mean, I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's all right. Like... <laughs> but hey, I mean, if we if I can trust the um the Smash Ultimate composer with the Mario and Luigi soundtrack, I'd say you know it's not bad. It's pretty good. I wonder if these stairs lead to the Great Lighthouse. Oh. Well. <laughs> Be like, be like when CJ was like, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> Ooh, secret. Money! Man, I got a lot of moon me now. If only overworld coins counted towards the achievement, but sadly they don't. This lighthouse is all over the place. Raw, it's Raw Guy. Raw Guy's down here. Did you hear that? It sounded like it came from back there. You think that was the one who took over the Great Lighthouse? Excuse me, might you be? I mean, you hear a Great Lighthouse soaring with monsters. 
You don't even have to say it. I know that you are. Warriors fighting to eliminate all monsters. No. Oh my. You'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Man, the Italian gibber just gets better. I see. Restoring the Great Lighthouse. That's very noble and warrior-like of you. My name's Dewey Fightem. I spend my time researching monsters, never thinking about the danger. Do we fight him? Is that a, is that another reference or pun that I don't get? I heard there's an incredibly dangerous monster up ahead. I'm sure you heard its horrifying growl. Ooh, utterly terrifying. It must be truly dangerous. But <laughs> can't lie, I get chills hearing it. It's like I want to see it, but I also don't want to see it. It's a matter of getting that gate open. You look for a way to open the gate? Yes! The monster ahead, its name is Goblik. Are you moving onward? Be very careful. Uh, don't worry, I, I plan to be careful. Hey, there we go, sub-level 2! Alright, so it looks like we got a, uh, a, a good thing I found a warp pipe here. I'm pretty sure this. I'm pretty sure that sh that thing that I keep referencing. I keep I keep referencing fucking blue shell instant. Where he says, "Good thing I found a warp pipe," <laughs> which is hilarious. So we're gonna probably have to carry um some plugs here. What a roar! Just what's going on past that gate? The monster head. His name is Goblin. Oh yeah, that's the same. Thanks, Logie. Ah, a door that I can't move past. What the hell am I supposed to do here? There's, uh... Oh, there's something up here. Also, this kind of looks suspicious. Kind of feels like there should be a hidden block there or something. We got, we got moving platforms. Here, let's kill these guys first. I mean, it's just nice to see cap naps in 3D, you know? It looks so silly. When I mean, they have, like... They have Mario shoes, and, like... It kind of looks like they have Mario pants underneath, too. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. I am kind of glad that this game goes against, like, my expectations, you know? Normally, we'd have, like, two or three different bros attacks by now, but we're, we're like, level, like, 12 or 13, and we only have one. Which, I guess, means that, uh, you know, it'll feel more special once we get a new bros attack, you know? Alright, come at me, bro. Got him. Oh, yeah! Whoops. Alright, it's time to, time to do the duel. <laughs> that is still funny as hell to do. It's time to, time to fucking punch you in the face! And by punch, I mean kick! He sleep. Fuck, oh. I do find it nice that they- I, I still- I'll say it again, I still think it's nice that they differentiated the two, like, 3D shell moves. So that you're not just doing the same move twice. Oh, yeah. 
because that gets that gets very boring. Which, so I'm glad that you know they they changed that dream team onwards, so that you know every bro's move is unique. And they don't share any. Well, I guess, I guess in all fairness, you know, Superstar Saga did that as well. So, it's kind of just something that Partners in Time and Battles of Sinsai Story fucked up with anything. Oh, dude, we're so close to level 15. It's gonna be hella hype. Wow. Alright, we should probably use some... Some syrups, syrups, and also pow bean. Make uh, Mario OP, like I did in Paper Jam. If you guys saw that series, which uh, I recommend watching the Paper Jam series because it was actually a lot of fun, and uh, it completely changed my perspective on Paper Jam. So I personally really recommend that you go watch that. Oh Mario, we are stuck in this fucking cave. I blame Mr. Beast for this, Mario. Hey, shut up, Luigi. We gotta keep fucking going. Fuck Mr. Beast. We need to get the move on. Okay. Uh. These pl okay, these platforms seem to work a little differently. They seem to move once whenever you're on them. It's kind of neat. I took another BRB just to, you know, upload a few things. And uh, my my buddy Eric, he sent me some uh, music from Melty Blood, which is a a series I've heard about before, but I didn't really know much else about it before though. And uh, yeah, that that music was actually pretty good, honestly. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. Anyways, this doesn't solve the problem of how to get over there. Unless I'm supposed to, like, spin into it or something. Oh, hey, hang on. You know what, actually? I know what to do. Can I pull- I can, I, I can pull this out, right? I'm supposed to bring this over here and open up this gate first. And then we can progress. We got a lot of cool electricity puzzles. <laughs> so after we put this plug here, now we can actually go in this gate and get the other plug. Which is, uh, you know, as one would say, that is a pretty big brain Luigi moment. <laughs> Except I'm the only one saying big brain Luigi moment because I coined that term. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Without um, without these enemies here, this will be a, this will be a pretty average um, Zelda dungeon, if anything. <laughs> God damn it! I did it again. I freaking pressed the run block, even though I didn't mean to. All right, we're finding the cap map instead. <laughs> There's only two of them, surprisingly. And also, Mario and Luigi have a speed tie again, it looks like. Yeah, keep harassing that cat now. I'm going to fucking kick you in the face! I think, yeah, Mario does outspeed them. Soon enough, Mario will get his next level, and then we'll be all dandy. Got him. Got he. <laughs> Alright, well, we can, uh, we'll probably red shell the cap now, because they're a bit tankier than the Thorbs. I'm gonna keep calling them Thorbs, they're literally what they are. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
You know what? I think, I think probably the most underrated set of Mario and Luigi enemies would be the Partners in Time ones, though. Like, nobody- I don't think the Mario and Luigi Partners in Time enemies have ever been brought back. Like, outside, I guess, the Shroobs, but that's, you know, that's a bit of a stretch. But I can't think of any other re enemies that they brought back. Like, I guess, um, uh, because, like, the thing is, is that Partners in Time- Oh, wait, wait, no, they did bring, um, they did bring back a Partners in Time. They brought back, um, the Coco and- oh, yeah. well, kinda, they kinda brought back the Coco and others from Partners in Time as Coco Knights in Dream Team. That's like the one time I could think of they brought back a Partners in Time enemy. I mean, in general, Partners in Time just has a lot of interesting enemies, cause... You know, they have, like, um... A lot of, like, new enemies, you know, like, Coco Nutters, they have, um... Like... A lot of shrewd variations, obviously. Like, pretty in pretty interesting stuff, I'd say. Also, I don't even think I can get up there. I think I need to, um... Go in this doorway over here. Alright, so what's the deal with this room, eh? I also wonder if we're gonna get upgraded hammers in this game or not. Zock Troops Memo 3. Don't try to operate the moving platforms alone. Whoever breaks one forfeits dinner. I missed the first memo, bro. I wanted to hear the one about breakfast. Got him. <laughs> Again. Alright. Kick that bastard. So I think I think some partners in time appreciation would be nice, or you know I don't know. I think I think one enemy that they're probably never gonna bring back are the Tanumas because we have tail Goombas now, and those are just you know way more iconic, I guess. T like tail Goombas are way more. Uh, they're way more, like, Nintendo-friendly, I guess you could say, for lack of a better term. I also miss the Rexes. The Rexes are really cool enemies. I know they're not a Mario and Luigi enemy, but I really liked seeing them. Especially the Shroob Rex from, uh, Partners in Time. That's an especially cool enemy. So can I make this with the bros? Oh, yeah, I can. Can I make this though? Well, we ain't we ain't making that. I'm curious how we're gonna make this jump. Well, what I could do is we have Luigi hit that. Luigi can hit that for me. Oh yeah, this is really cool. They have these little like things in the you know corner of the screen where you can see Luigi operating the switch. That is really cool. Mario. Luigi. Hey Luigi, get your fucking get over here. I wonder if we're ever gonna get to control Luigi by himself. I like Luigi only sections in these games. I think you get at least one every Mario and Luigi game. Although I could be wrong. Alright, so there's that section over there. Hey, I can't clear- it. I can't see- I can see clear the second plug! Alright, what do we have down here? Um, any enemies that I can fight? They, they just have to throw, like, a bunch of enemies down here. It doesn't look like there's any down here, though. Hmm. Alright, so, am I supposed to hit these with, with just one, bro? Probably. Whoop! 
Yeah, I mean, these are, these are cool, though. You get to, you know, see a Luigi. Luigi gets to play, uh, Hammer. Hammer Control. Uh, what do we have over here? There's a lot, there's a lot of, like, shit over here. I think this might actually be the way to the plug. <laughs> Here, let me go back. Well, I mean, unless this isn't. I'm not sure. I saw a bunch of- oh, fuck, I fell. I saw a bunch of money over there I kind of want to get. Let's try. You take the optional path first. We take the blue pill and the red pill. Oh fuck! Damn, I'm, I'm I'm messing up all the time. That no, okay. The, now that the more I think about it, that noise is pretty satisfying. <laughs> okay, so we need to make a jump here. They kind of look like cheese slices, floating cheese slices. Oh fuck, I keep forgetting, I can't make that jump, damn it. I'm so stupid, bro. Hold on. Let's try that again. Alright, come on, Lugie, we gotta go. We gotta go to victory. If, um, if I ever, like... Stand still for like a few seconds and don't say anything. It's either because uh, I'm responding to text messages or um, I'm like getting back from a BRB. <laughs> I think the, I think the thing I really love about recording a bunch of these episodes in in bulk is that I really get to take my time. I can just take breaks whenever I want and stuff. And uh, I really do enjoy that. Oh fuck! Dang, it really sends you all the way back? Give me a sec. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Much better. Alright, now I can get this moon me. I don't know if it was worth it for those 20 coins. The amount of times I fell is actually fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> Alright, Luigi. I mean, oh god damn it! <laughs> now I'm mixing my bros up. All right, Luigi, we got to we got to use these floating pieces of cheese to go across. All right, Mario, I got you. And thankfully, this is not a Mr. Beast challenge, so I can actually get through it pretty easily. Can I make that jump? Nope. Even with Coyote time, I can't make that. They really, it really does look like fucking cheese, though. <laughs> Which is really funny. Ooh, look, at this, look at this platform. This is cool. Alright, and this is how we get to the uh, next piece. The next socket, or whatever you want to call it. Sock Troops Memo 4. We are all mere extensions of Master Zocket's will. Whoever complains forfeits snacks. There's more in smaller print. I can't take anymore. No breakfast, no lunch, and no dinner. Being taken away, the last thing I look forward to. My precious snacks. That's the last straw. I rezi. I re something. I resumping. <laughs> All these explosive boxes. They're great. Alright. Alright, Luigi, we're back. Oh! Wait, hang on, hang on. Can I have Luigi pick this up, too? You can't pass here. Oh yeah. Okay. Hang on, hang on. Pass to Luigi. And then we'll both carry them. <laughs> there you go. That makes it a lot easier. Oh. Oh. 
Alright, pass it to me. I don't think Luigi can place. Yeah, Luigi can't do anything. Mario has to be the one to place shit. That's amazing, Mario and Luigi. The way is clear. Yay, we did it! Roar. Hooray! Let's let's keep going. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go kick the shit out of that motherfucker. Alright, well thankfully, they're kind enough to give us a heart block and a save point right before the boss. So, that's pretty banger. I mean, look at my F, or not FP, my BP. My BP is not great. <laughs> Yay! Look at that! Luigi's stance is great. He's, he's ready. He's ready to show that boss a thing or two. Alright, we're ready to go take on the second boss of the game. I'm surprised there's not that many bosses so far, but who knows, that might change. We'll see. I'll put some laundry in, because, uh, my hair is, like, murdering me. <laughs> I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna take a frickin' shower. <laughs> That's right, gobble down all those delicious spite bulbs. Good, no? Oh yeah, here's- Oh yeah, here's the, uh, here's the main villains of the game. Just keep building that stale charge. <laughs> Master Zocket will be so pleased with us. We're a perfect extension of his will. Gobble down those spite bulbs. Huh? Who's there? Hey, fuck you! I'm in here! You must be the resistance that Ten mentioned. Who are these jokers? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, we would. Who are you? And what are you doing with the Great Lighthouse? Gotta turn it! <laughs> We're not gonna explain ourselves to you. Instead, I have a counteroffer. Goblick! Now that you've gorged on spike bulbs, show them your surging power. The three of us have bigger fish to zap. <laughs> you motherfucker, get back here! Alright, here we go, boss time. Oh, yeah. Alright, bro is, uh, goes attacking. Um, well, the question is, should I use my bro's attacks, or should I, um, jump on him? Let's just try jumping first. He has a pretty vulnerable looking spot on his head, you know? Boom. Oh shit. I hear it. He's he's recycling the enemies from the uh, from the dungeon against us. Also, rip my uh, rip my buff. It's gone already, bruh. <laughs> oh, this is some this is some good music, bro. Wait, I just thought of, I just thought of something. Does every boss get their own unique battle song? That'd be pretty cool, actually. If so, take these. Oh, 121. Damn. Oh. 
Oh shit, look at that. Alright, Luigi logic. Yeah. Mario. Mario, do it, do something. <laughs> Woohoo! Throw into the tornado. Yeah. We're doing freaking Mario 64 over here. <laughs> Bonk. Oh shit, we're actually like going to a different part of the battle screen. That's dope. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. Kick. Oh, 163 damage. Do the spin. Hang on, there. Oh, total 118. Okay, so it does do the total still. That's good. I'm learning the. Uh, I'm learning the action commands. Shit, he's getting more serious. Oh no, I got one oh, I, I tripped. Oh shit. Alright, our first refreshing herb of the game, guys. Yeah! Things. We're doing our Ash commands. I feel like the bosses get more actions to compensate for how much, like, damage you do and how little health they have. Which I think is a cool way to do a boss. Alright, here we go. Luigi's gonna get the finishing blow, I think. Nice spinning kick. He, I got a lot. I got a crit to end off the fight. Let's go. Yeah. Oh man, the explosions are very shiny looking. Goblin boots. Oh yeah. And Luigi got a level up. Wait, yeah, Luigi didn't take damage in that fight, so he gets extra XP. Oh, that's fucking hilarious, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. Luigi leveled up again. We're one level off from Boomerang rank. That's pretty awesome. The one thing I'm really curious about is, is there going to be a, um... Wow, we just got a shit ton of those. Is there going to be a battle ring? That's the thing I need to know. Because the battle ring in Paper Jam was a bit underwhelming because of the fact that there were no recolors. So I'm really hoping we have a, a battle ring in this game. I don't mind if it's not until like the very end of the game. I just hope they have one. <laughs> we should got ourselves a bunch of sprite bulbs. <laughs> Eh? You want to know what we do with him? Sure. I've been putting the old noggin to work and I figure, you know, I'll think of something. You stupid fucking bitch. What was with those three? What were they trying to do? Eh, hey, they're probably fat anyway. 
You're right. We gotta get a green lighthouse to save. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Huh. Look at this oh. sparkle. You got Patriarch's Notice 1. Or Note 1. Wait, Patriarch? That's, um... That's his dad, isn't it? Eh? What's that note? There's a fishy trio working like crazy, trawling up a whole mess of spite bulbs. What encrustations are they planning to do with so many of those rotten things? How many spite bulbs do we need for this? Who knows? Just get all you can. I'm logging all this ominous stuff, hoping this info goes to a hero who can help. From history's frontline patriarch. Can patriarch be? Seems like an important note. Okay, I'll be sure to remember it. Check it out in Snallet School and Settings and Guide. Let's go to the top floor and bring back the light. Alright, let's go! Yeah, go to the top floor. Whoop. Oh, that's a cool looking elevator. Here we are. The top floor. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that freaking Luigi voice clip's hilarious. Mario, Luigi, over here! <laughs> what if it turns out there's more dungeon? We're only like half done. Ah, now we're up here. Right. I'll restore the lost connector back to normal with this watering can. I hope I can do it. To be honest, I'm a little worried here. Yeah. With my mentor gone now, I'll do my best to fulfill the role of the new Wadnest. Come now, Light. Find your shine. Show us the path we must take to restore all of Concordia. Oh. Oh my god! He's levitating! Aw, oh, that's, that's wholesome. Look at all the Xbox shapes! I can't, why can't you say Xbox? is PlayStation, bro! PlayStation shapes everywhere! Yeah, it's Xbox, guys. Totally. Oh, flashbang! Yeah! Light! Dang, that's a good ass. Oh, some good ass lights, bro. Boom. They did our Kamehameha, bro. Damn. All the lands are gonna come back from that. Holy shit! Yeah, we did it! Yay! Now we're really cooking. Oh yeah, look at that. The islands are like gonna get connected back, aren't they? I mean, maybe, I don't know. Well then, that's a revolutionary moment right there. And we've only beaten two bosses so far.
Welcome back. We made it to the colorful sea. This is too exciting for words. It actually worked. Mario, Luigi, thanks to you, we might really be able to bring this nor world back to normal. I wish my mentor was here to see this. What is she? Got? Was she dead or something? All right, let's keep connecting islands. Yeah, Mario, Luigi, let's go. Connie's like a secondary mentor, or not mentor, like a secondary guide character. I've got something to report. We just got back from the Great Lighthouse in the lush green sea. I fed a bunch of spite bulbs to a goblin and made it guard the place. We saw some interlopers trying to get in our way, but they're no big deal. Well... Those weird guys, we'll make them pay. Dang, that guy's that guy's voice. Um I don't know what voice to give him yet. Use caution. Huh? If they're truly trying to reconnect the islands, I believe I'll have to see for myself. We got a bit of a uh, villain lore now too. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hopefully I don't get interrupted by my alarm. Ooh. What is it? Is this like sunset now? That's pretty cool looking. We gotta find the next island. Oh yeah! Yeah! Well, we'll see where we're at now. Well, what was the previous area? Oh, that's the lush green sea. Oh well, there we go. We're already we're already getting there. So this is, uh, this is kind of like the first hub area, and then now we're gonna have, um, a new one. Well, I want to, I want to find that, um, I want to get to that reef. Unless I can't get to that reef. Undiscovered island. I don't know what this island is, but we're gonna go there. Great Lighthouse Island. Like another one? I see the great like great lighthouse island, but yeah, it's got like a freaking fortress around it. Why is there a wall around it? Dang, they're trying to they're trying to prevent the border hoppers from getting in. The last great lighthouse it had a sketchy space in the basement. Are those creeps up to something? Even if we get close, we'll never make it through that wall. I hope this will be simple. Put the great lighthouse right here. What if we go over the wall? Ooh, or blow it up. Uh, what should we do? Hmm. The colorful sea is home to lots of drifting islands. Someone on one of them might be able to help us with the wall. Scouting for drifting islands and linking them back up is the best I can think of. Let's plan for that, shall we? Some sort of inventor or engineer or mechanic would be nice. Aye aye, let's see the currents and keep watch for drifting islands. Well... We can, uh... Go to that current. Let's see. Oh yeah, we can, um... We're going in a weird... We're going in a weird shape here. Oh, there's an island right there. I guess we'll go to this island then. Wait, 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 wait. There's, there's new side quests though. Should probably do those first. Where would I check the side quests? Uh, go see Wilma. And there's a weird bird thing abducting island residents. Yeah, let's go to Rumbla Island. Wait, unless I'll, wait, I'll, I mean, I could just go to the next island and then come back once I unlock the island, you know? Desolate Island. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, time to go! <laughs> Mama Sucker! <laughs> how many how many how many freaking ways are they gonna be able to think of Luigi eating shit? It's kinda like a garbage dump here almost. Hey no! Uh oh. Seems like things are starting to get bad. That's a lot of bird ups. Big sister, no! Sheesh. This island's kinda hectic. <laughs> no! So, I'm glad I can do that. Okay, we'll do the side quests, um, after, I guess. Okay, this seems like you're a very typical desert kind of island. Even the music's kind of giving me those vibes. Alright, well, I suppose we'll check out this, uh, this new town then. Wow, we really don't get many visitors since the continent split apart. I mean, there's a reason we call this desolate island, you know? We're kind of laid back here, even when the hunks of junk fall back on our town. So as long as we're in fine he fine health and have good eats, we're pretty happy here. Well, there are people snatching birds lately. That's been scary. Yeah, that's why that's the bird ups are going kind of crazy. Some kids here are at a group called Idol. They mess up everything they do. They can't even get it together because enough to wash their clothes, so I guess Idol is a good name. Bonk. I wonder, I still don't know what these are gonna do later yet, you know? I have like 134 of them and I still can't do anything with them, it seems. Yeah, syrup. I'm just waiting until I can get super syrup jars and then spam even more bros attacks. Hold it right there, this is our turf. And our turf has no room for sketchy dudes like you. We watch over Desolate Island, got it? Now that we've seen you, get ready. Uh, where is Elmo? Oh, here he comes. Hey, you missed the start! Sorry, now get ready! That's my old part! Fear the might of Idol! You're stepping ahead! First we do the pose! Idol! Not yet, whoa! We're a mess today, starting over! Irene here! Dulez. Lug. Hello. That makes us. Idle. The Luigi's asleep, bruh. <laughs> Lu Luigi uh, is sick of this shit. <laughs> third is the worst. I don't want to do that anymore. You have to be third. We don't spill nothing if you're not. We're I-D-L-E, got it? Then I'll take your name, Irene. I should have been leader anyway. Nope. Maybe we need a new name for our crew. You gotta be kidding me. We're idle to the core. Uh, let's go. Hey, check out the pig that popped out of that mustache guy. Hold on, what are you guys, magicians or something? They look like they've got lots of money. I mean, we do have lots of money, that is true. Those guys? You sure about that? Yeah. Hey, all the bird ups, man, they're carrying all these people away. 
Those birds are back, and they're headed for the lighthouse, just like I thought. Luke, do less Ello, we gotta get after them. Those birds have been snatching up people from this island lately. Now we know for sure that they've gone to the lighthouse. Let's head there and save everyone. Huh, you're going there too? Yeah! What? You're gonna hook this island up to other ones? Hey, you bunch will show us the way there, right? Uh... Fine. But first, you gotta pass our test. We need to see if you have what it takes to even get there. Truth is, you can't get there without us anyway, so... What's the test? Pretty simple. Find us. Alright, idle, get moving. Hey, wait up. Oh, hide and seek? Guess I'll hide in my usual place. What's the plan? Seek him out? Yeah! No way! Whoa, strangers, does it mean we finally have customers? First one's in a long time, too. Everyone should open their shops. Eh, shops, eh? We should check them out while we're looking for those kids. Yeah, we'll find them as we go, I'm sure. Man, I can't get up there. I can't get this freaking barrel out of the way. Ugh. Ooh, more, uh, more fairies. Come on, Luigi, get him. Irene and the rest of Idol, they put themselves in too much danger. They're squirrely kids, but they really do care about our island. There's been a lot more monsters on the island since our land broke apart. Those large birds are everywhere, and I heard they're taking people. Oh, I can't bear the thought of that. Are you guys involved with all this somehow? No! Oh, well, we got a shop here. Welcome all the most reliable goods here. Uh, ooh, steady boots. Those are definitely better. I need something to spend my money on. <laughs> Let's be honest. And I got a steady hammer for, Ma for Mario. And I mean, I ooh, the bros wear. That's pretty tempting to get. Oh, I also got the goblet boots. Hmm, I probably should have put those on first. Let's have a look. When you deal damage, you heal 5% of it back. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And then we also got bros wear. This one's like a bit the bros wear for Mario. Yep, that's good. Good enough. Sell the dirt cheap wear. Sell the so so wear. There. We also have um the battle wear gloves that I haven't been wearing. I mean honestly all this stuff's fine. See now I spent all my moon knees, so now I feel um now I feel accomplished. <laughs> Thank you. Looking for something? Oh, you're playing hide-and-seek with kids. Here's a tip. Some of our buildings have walkaways between roofs. So you can get inside those places from up there, too. Good luck. Good luck. I mean, I'll just, I'm just kind of exploring the town, you know. There's also a barrel. Searching for the idle kids? I know all about them. Lug's in the blue building north of here a lot of the time. Dulles usually plays in the green one to the northeast. And hello, he's often outside the yellow building to the west. Alright, I, I gotcha. Well, let's find some damn kids. <laughs> oh, I got the one up! So that's how you get on top of this roof. 
Can I, uh... So we can look, have a look at the map here. Well, there's actually not that much to this island. I don't think there is even any combat on this island. Unless I'm wrong. Actually, no, I think I see some... I think I see some enemies over there. Well, hers, let's get some sprite bolts. Yeah, what was that enemy in there? There's like an enemy right there. Huh. Thanks, Louie, for being the goat. That's it. Yeah, that's definitely a new enemy. What are these things? Drill bee. Can't really tell what they are. They're like little mole dudes. Little fu little funny drill guys. I love it. <laughs> drill mole guys. That's what we're calling them, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, after this stream, or recording, I'm gonna have myself a shower, because my hair is, like, fucking itchy as hell today, and I hate it. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, there are, like, little moles, or something. Yeah. All right, let's see that. Let's see their attack. Gotti. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Mario. Uh, Mario still needs to level up. Well, if I can get to um, if I can get to the next level, I'd be pretty happy. Oh wait, it's these birds that keep stealing people. Yeah, this bird guy. Oh shit. Oh. Well, I mean, I got- I freed Luigi, but I did damage to him. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Snapped her. Alright, you gotta go, buddy. Well, technically, Luigi took damage in that fight. <laughs> so, yeah. Can I fit behind any of these? Well, there is a house here. This is like the first house we can go inside. Oof. This old place. They got so many holes, I never know what's gonna happen. Wonder when they'll get here. It's boring hiding too long. Mario! Mario, there's a fucking kid over there, I gotta go save his ass! Okay, Luigi! Let's uh, get going! If I can get to level 15 by the end of this episode, I'd be pretty happy with that. Who's that? Uh, no one, I guess. Huh? Someone over there? Hello? Probably nothing. Yep, nothing at all. Imagined it. Maybe I just am. Maybe I just need to take a breather here. Oh, we got to go up there. Hmm. All right, up the fun green stairs we go. Residence two F. All right, well, where are we going? Yeah. Yahoo! Oh shit! There's a block over there. 
crap. I need to go back then when I'm done here. I'll have to get over there later then. So we got stairs. Let's let's use these stairs and check out what I need to do here. Okay, so the hole on the right will just take me backwards. It's like that one area in Mother 3 where you gotta jump down a bunch of holes to progress. I remember that. Uh, let's try this one. I had a good hiding place, but then fell into a hole. Hmm, where am I? Not lost, nope. Definitely not. Just hiding. For myself. <laughs> oh, you found me. I, I wasn't lost, not at all. Uh, to get to the exit. Go straight down that way, then turn left. And then turn left again. After that, left again. Yeah, that's it. It's alright. That's it, alright. Go straight. Turn left. Turn left again. And left a third time. Hey, I'm just back where I started. Welcome home. Welcome home. Whatever. Now tell us where the rest of you kids at. Uh, not sure. Law Luke might be in the building west of here. Ella is almost definitely at one to the southwest. We usually hide inside those big buildings anyway. Well then, lighthouse, lighthouse. You guys should definitely hurry up and find everyone. All right, let's keep it up and find the rest of them. And before I do that, I need to go get that block that I missed. Actually, question. How are my side... These side quests don't have, like, a deadline, I don't think. So I think I can do them after I do this island. So which hole did I jump down? I don't think I jumped down this one, did I? Yeah. Ah, free syrup. Always good to have. I'll probably find the kids... Reconnect this island and then probably go shower after that. Or I don't know. I mean, I don't have to reconnect the island. I could just, uh, I could just go free the kids, you know. There's a boy named Doulas in Idol. He's pretty tall for his age. He's always a bit off, and he says things in his own way. He dresses that way too. He's a, he's a good kid. Loves his friends. Well, I never did go to the south house, so we should probably do that. Well, how south can you go, anyway? We are south. So, where exactly do we go? Hmm. Walkways between roofs. I'm not sure. I'm gonna wonder what wonder what they mean by that exactly. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Luigi, hurry up! Well, this isn't one of them, I don't think. Man, I'm getting good at first striking these guys. Ooh, I got a lucky. <laughs> I didn't even know what the hell he that guy was doing. Bonk. Bonk. Well, 
that guy is not dead. Oh yeah! Well, I got a crit on this guy, so he's dead. Whoops, mistimed it. <laughs> I got one BP though for eating shit. Ooh, desolate scrap. We're gonna need those for materials later. Yes, I'm level 15 now! Almost! Okay, so, so apparently there's only one there's only two gear slots in this game, which is kind of a shame. I kind of like having more gear slots, honestly. So yeah, that's a bit of a, a, bit, a bit too bad, honestly. I found Grandpa! Putting up old Grandpa Turnip out of the Desolate Iron's dirt, eh? That was quite a yank. Must be your whiskers that give you such a pluck. You're not from our world. You can't pull the roots over Grampy Turnip's eyes. You gotta look, you see. Or an odor. Or maybe it's your jaunty strut. What do you think of Concordia? Have you gotten used to our ways yet? Well, the strange will become normal. Still, let, don't let the familiar lead to foolishness. For instance, don't take a healthy stock of mushrooms for granted. You might think you always have plenty until you suddenly have none. Or you could be like me and just sell all of them because you don't need them. Also, if you forget what to do, use the Venture Log section of the menu. Oh, have I surprised you by slipping in some info? Hmm, then there's some. here's some wisdom. Always go back to basics! Surprise you again, that's one of my favorites. Here's another one. Early to bed and early to rise makes you... Uh, stealthy, wealthy guys. Learned that when I was a tiny tuber. Soak up that wisdom. Grampy Turnip doesn't speak up for just anyone. One more thing. What do you get when you cross a duck with cheese? The answer is... An angry duck! Heard that already? Sorry. I always gotta, I always gotta end it with a little silly pun. Well, can I go behind here? I guess I'll go in the blue building next. I know about Luke from Idol. I play with him sometimes. He tells me that he's the leader, but I don't think he actually is. He also says he's got a scar in a pirate battle. Is that true? Oh god, it's dark in here. I wanna turn on that light? Hit the switch with a hammer. It's not working that if it's not it's not working that well, so the light goes out pretty quickly. Still that will brighten up things in here for a little while. Yeah, I mean that definitely helps a little bit. How long does it stay up for? Hmm. Well, enough to, like, get me over here. Can I get over here? There, let's, uh, let's go up here. Smash that switch. Whoop. Oh, that was a fun puzzle. It's dark in this building. Seems like it'd be easy to hide in here. But it's st so dark and I can't find a place to hide. Hey, it's bright again! Whoa, scared me. Fine, you found me. Don't give me- didn't give me enough time to hide, right? Hold on, we can talk outside, this way. You'll need the rest of us before we'll open the gate. Maybe Ello's in the building southwest here? Might be stuck somewhere. Oh, I see. Wait, he's southwest. I don't know why I thought he was southeast. Oh, that just takes me outside. Well, hang on, I want to go back in here because I saw, um... I think there might be some blocks in here or something. I mean, or not, I don't know. I 
there's some there's some blocks. Let me just check and see if there's any question blocks I can hit in here. Nope, I got them already. So we have a fast travel for the blue house then. Oh yeah. Bird up. Got he. Oof, man, I'm getting all these luckies today. Oh no. Okay, well that went well. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to jump on the bird, aren't I? Well, he gone now. Oh, yeah. Stuck? This is bad. Bro, bro, bro really got stuck. Oh, found me. Uh, push from the other end. That way. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I kind of just found this place by a complete accident. Wait, hang on, we got another bird up. Shite, I missed. I know how their tells work yet, honestly. You guys are kind of wacky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so wait, I have I have gear that makes me heal when I do damage, and then I have gear that makes me um, recover BP when I take damage. That's some wacky shit right there. Go time. Go time. Alright, red shell time. Ah. Damn! Well, that's a new record for damage. They're, they're more like little worms than, uh, than moles. Oh. <laughs> I did it too early again. You can use beans! I mean, honestly, I'm happy that they even have beans at all in this game. <laughs> oh, look at, that, look at that little lizard fella up there. Nice, nice little detail. Oh fuck, I missed! Alright, let's do it again. At this point, I'm just doing, like, random-ass, uh, Mario Luigi impressions for just the hell of it at this point. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's fun, though, so... I can't complain. And we have no shortage of deathless scraps, either. That's pretty good. I'm keeping those materials. I'm not- I'm not going back to grind again. Ooh. Bronze medallion. That's that's free money. I'm pretty sure. That L takes things at his own pace. That's for sure. 
I worry whether he fit in with those other idle kids. But they all get along. He's pretty likable, after all. Yahoo! Oh. We can't get over there yet. Yeah. Alright, let me get these real quick. Thanks, Loogie, for my- because I'm incompetent. Um, oh. This is like a sub-area. Yo, I can't wait till we get even more bros moves. That's gonna be sick once we do. I knew there was a hidden block there. I just knew it. I don't know. I don't know how I knew that. I just kind of. I just kind of figured. Let's just say it was a hunch. Okay, th this is pretty cool. I gotta admit. Also, we gotta. We gotta go behind that house at some point. Uh, any hidden blocks here? No. Ooh, look at this. This place is cool. It's like the yellow residence. Wait. There's stuff back here. Mushroom. Oh shit! Alright, hey, we get him unstuck. Use the hammer, Luigi. Yeah, I got it. Oh. I mean, that's not as funny as if Luigi used it, the hammer. <laughs> hey, at least he did it. Oh yeah, I'm the man. You got me out. Thanks. Looks like we found them all. Let's head back to Irene. Alright, out the door we go. Out the fucking window with that. So I guess like uh, that one moment in Conker's bad fur day. <laughs> out the fucking window with that. Shit, I missed again. All right, time to fight more bird ups. Oh no. Well, that didn't go well. Um... Yeah, let's just do this. Shit! Getting more free items along the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got 51 damage. Oh, I'll get that worm at some point. No! Oh, there we go. Okay, I dodged it that time. Get out of here, bird up. Bonk. Oh, yeah. Hey, I mean, Luigi is pretty close to a level up. Don't think we're getting that rank up this episode, though. So I do want to shower in a second here. I'll probably go save in a sec. Ooh, knockout hammer. 
That sounds good. Um, let's see. Each time you defeat an enemy, your pal increases by 20%. Hell yeah, dude. Absolutely want that. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, um, where's the nearest save block at? Actually, why don't we just do this next- why don't we just do this cutscene and then I can get to the next save point. And then we'll link the island next episode, I'm thinking. I think that'll probably be a good idea. Like, I could finish it right now, but... Eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I mean, my my laundry isn't gonna be done for another, like, 23 minutes, so you know what? We could probably keep going. Oh, safe past the gate. Careful where you go. Huh, you're better than I thought. Found every last one of us. Alright, you can go to the lighthouse. You might be able to handle it. So, want us to open the gate now? Yes. There's a little trick to opening the gate. Check this out. They're gonna do like a fusion dance. Ready, set, go! Or they could yell at the gate too, that works as well. <laughs> That's the trick. It takes four of us to open the gate. I'm gonna be the first one in the lighthouse. Eat my dust. Hey, no fair, wait up! Phew, almost got my fingers mashed there. Irene and Luke, always in a rush. Alright, well, uh, we'll heal. And, uh, we'll save. I think, um, it's not, you know, my ideal place to end the episode, but there is a heart block and a save here, so I think it's fine. I kind of want to, I'm kind of burnt out on this game for today anyways, so... I could take a, I think this is a good enough place to stop. So, as always, guys, make sure to like and subscribe to YouTube and Twitch for more Brothership. So, yeah. Um, in the next episode, we'll finish up this island, do some side quests. Who knows, we might check out the next island. I don't know, it's, it's fun. I love this game so far. I love all the islands and shit. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then.